Hey, it's Cycling Explorer again. Today I'm at the end of the Black Lick Trail and I'm going to try to explain to you why it ends and what they're doing about it. As you can see, the trail ends and the dirt path begins. This is used by a lot of different people and goes on for about a hundred yards until we reach the railroad tracks. So this dirt path actually is private property and it belongs to Norfolk and Southern Railroad. Based on discussions with a couple different rangers, Norfolk's biggest concern is the fact that they're worried about the liability issue of something falling off the train, or actually the bridge itself. So I climbed up on the bridge and found that the tracks themselves were made in 1943. Um, and you can see there's a little bit of fencing to try and keep some things from falling off the train or the track or falling on people. Obviously it's not enough, but it cost way too much money to replace this entire bridge. And these are some shots spanning in each direction. Bike paths underneath railroad bridges have been successfully done throughout the Columbus metropolitan area. My suggestion is that you just create a cage that goes underneath this bridge to keep anything from falling off and probably would be the most cost-effective way of dealing with this problem. As you can see as we pan up, Something does need to be done, but it needs to be done in a cost-effective manner. Hopefully, this solves the mystery as to why this trail is not completed. 